guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean if you haven't been here before. Today we're sitting at the vanity. My hair is looking a mess because I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair. I have had so many questions about hair videos and to be honest, I'm just not really into hair. Whether you guys think my hair looks good or not, depending on the day, I just am not into hair. I do my hair for myself um, and I feel like I've perfected my hair like just curling and straightening. I really don't do anything special, but I still get questions all the time. So I'm going to sit down and film this video. I feel like it's going to be pretty quick because there's really not much to share with you guys. Um, I think the reason why I get so much questions is just because I have a shorter length. I have colored hair and I think when people cut their hair it is kind of hard to change how they're going to style their hair. Um, when I had long hair I used to curl my hair in a ponytail. It's such an old video. I'll put it up here for you guys if you want to watch it. It's actually kind of funny watching it now. If you do have long hair and want a secret on how to curl your hair quick. But now I've perfected curling my short hair. I did this when it was even shorter and I do this all the time now. So a little backstory. I straightened up my hair Sunday night or Monday morning. It is now Wednesday. Um, it's Wednesday almost noon. I showered, slept on my hair, straightened it the next morning and I've had straight hair for a couple days now. I only wash my hair maybe once or twice a week depending on how gross it is. So it's like it's a good texture right now. I feel like if I straighten my hair and wear it straight for a couple days, then curl it later in the week, the curls will last for another two to three days, which is perfect for me because it has that like texture up here. It's going to hold my curls. Plus, I find it easier to curl my hair once it's already been straightened because my natural hair is kind of just poofy and a little bit all over the place, and I find my curls to come out a little bit more not as precise and like the beachy look compared to when I curl it once it's straight. So I hope that makes sense. I guess we're just gonna start. I always start by brushing my hair. Yes, I have bleached out hair, so putting heat on your hair isn't the best for it, but that's why I only wash my hair once or twice a week. And then technically I'm only heat styling it maybe once or twice a week as well. So I straightened it one day and then today we're gonna curl it and this style will last me a few days. I sometimes go back and do touch-ups, but as far as doing like a full head styling with a heat tool, I only do this a few times a week. It works for me. So I always part my hair down the middle. I've always done that. It's my favorite way to wear my hair. My hair is feeling a little bit greasy up here, so sometimes before I even start styling, I like to use a dry shampoo. This is from r Co. This is the Death Valley Dry Shampoo. r Co. is literally one of my favorite hair brands. It's a little bit pricey, but so worth it. The scents are amazing and the products are just very unique. So I'm just putting this into my roots quickly. Nothing really special here. So this will just add a little bit more grip and it will clean out my hair to make it not look so oily. My roots are so long right now. And you guys will see why soon. Now I'm going to separate my hair into two sections. I have done this since high school. This is just my favorite way to heat style my hair. When I straighten it, I do this. When I curl it, I do this. I take the top half of my hair, part it, and I tie it up in a hair tie. Today I'm using a scrunchie, but just like messily just tie it up so we can focus on this bottom layer first. A nice tip is this bottom layer you can kind of do quicker and less perfect because it is going to be hidden by your hair on the top. We just want to add texture and some wave to this bottom section. So to curl my hair, I use this tapered curling wand. This is from Argan Heat. I got this at Sally's Beauty Supply like sophomore year of high school. So I've had this forever. I also have the straightener in this brand. I love this brand. It gets very hot. It's quick and I don't think they're crazy expensive. I know they like told me that this barrel has like argan oil infused and I'm like, I don't know if that's real, but I love this. It's lasted me forever. So I will link this curling iron and I'll link my straightener down below, both from the same brand. And I like the tapered wand just because I think it gives me the curl that I want easy with short hair since it is so slim. Um, I wanted to get like a bigger barrel, but I feel like that works best for people with longer hair. When you have shorter hair, you want something easy to move around with, something smaller like this. So basically I start in the back and I part my hair in like two sections and then I'm gonna take the pieces in the back and the back is the hardest to do because they my pieces get really short back there. So I basically take this, Put the opposite hand over my head 
and wrap it. I really don't pay attention to if I do it um, towards or away. I think I mix it up to be honest and hold it for a couple seconds and you can see it like literally doesn't look good but it's just adding texture because these are my bottom pieces so you're not really going to see it but we also don't want them to be straight so I basically just take like one inch section, section starting from the back and moving forward and do one side at a time. I also like to leave a good inch of hair out sticking straight up that I don't curl to kind of have like those straighter ends. Just kind of hold for 10 to 15 seconds and drop. So yeah, I'm just making my way up towards the front of my face, just grabbing one inch to half inch sections. I also kind of like to mix it up. Some sections I do bigger, some sections I do a little bit smaller to kind of add like a variety of curl. So the bottoms are straight and the top is more curled. Split this in half, take this piece, leave a good inch out of the curling iron. I also like to leave a good inch on the top of my head too. So you're just curling like the middle section of your hair. So it's straight here, curled, and then straight at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna fast forward. I just wanted to explain that to you guys. I just realized I didn't put any lip liner or lip product on. <laughs> and I'm like in the middle of filming this video. I meant to do my lips up before I started filming. Okay, guys, so that bottom half of my hair literally took me five minutes. You can see the curls aren't perfect. It's kind of just textured, a lot's going on. And if you look at this side, it kind of looks a little bit flat. So once I see like the first section of curls like this, sometimes I'll go back in and take smaller pieces in between and add curls just to add a little bit more texture. I think that's one of the biggest like secrets to what I do is I just kind of keep going back and adding like a few more curls here and there to kind of add on top of what we've already done. Much more curly that looks. Same with this side, like we got the first initial section of getting every piece of hair curled and now going back and curling smaller sections on top just to add that real nice curl. Now that that is pretty much curled, like I said, the bottom half doesn't have to look perfect because all this hair is pretty much gonna cover it. I like to spray this r Co Soft Wave Spray. It's like a super wet texture, like almost like a sea salt spray. So I do the tiniest bit because I don't want it to get too wet and ruin my curls. So I literally just like spritz. This just kind of makes it a little bit more PC and also just smells really good. Now I'm going to take out the top half of my hair and also one of my biggest tricks is before I let the top hair down, I like to tie the first half in the back in a little ponytail. So I'm gonna tie up all these curls in the back of my head. I know that seems like it might ruin it, but curling this top half isn't gonna take very long and I can't have other curls in the way because then I'm not gonna be able to focus on getting this top half of my head perfect. I like actually don't understand how people don't tie back the first half once they're done. So this is the top half of my hair. The first half we did is tied in the back and we are pretty much gonna do the same thing here, starting from the back and moving towards the front. And doing the top half is a lot easier because this hair is a lot longer on my head. Obviously, everyone's a little bit different, but usually if you have a shorter haircut, the bottom half of your hair is a lot shorter, more stubborn pieces of hair, and then the top half of your head has a lot longer pieces. So I really like to make sure these curls are coming out how I want them because these are the curls you're actually going to see on top. Again, taking about one inch pieces, leaving an inch from the top of my head, leaving an inch at the bottom, and then we will go back and take probably half inch or smaller pieces and kind of touch everything up. Top 
half of my head is done. Now I like to take down or take out the scrunchie in the back just so those curls aren't being held down too much because they could flatten out if you take too long. I like roughing it up a little bit. I like to keep my roots down and flat on the top and then this is a little bit more puffy. You guys can see that the bottom of my hair has those straight pieces which I think really gives that beachy look. And now, just like I did with the bottom half of my hair, I'm going to go back in on the top half of my hair, grab smaller sections that I did before, and kind of piece it out just a little bit to add more texture. So basically, you just go back and add more curls everywhere. I, like, am so bad at explaining hair, so I really hope this, like, makes sense. I feel like you just need to do like the base curl everywhere, but then you need to go back and like piece it out more. I really like that PC textured beach hair. And honestly, this hair look looks better the second day, sometimes better the third day. Um, you would have to like touch pieces up, but it just like gets more and more messy and piecier. And this is gross, but like the dirtier hair gets throughout the week. I feel like it just adds so much more texture. And then the top of your hair lays right so it's not too puffy. There's not so as many flyaways just because your natural oils are really locking down that hair. And that is why I like styling my hair only once or twice a week. Just because one, it's better for your hair. And two, I honestly think the style just looks a lot better. So I think that is good. I'm going to go back in with this soft wave spray, spray the top of my hair. And I also wanted to show you guys, if I did curl my hair on a day where I just washed it, if I had no choice, if I needed my hair to be curly that day, but I also really needed a wash, um, my hair would be a lot more poofy right now. And to help that, I would put an oil, like the tiniest bit of oil and kind of run it through my hair to kind of sleek it down a little bit and make the curls not as poofy. I'm not going to use this today because my hair is like the perfect texture. That is literally it. If you guys have a lot of flyaways on the top of your head, you could also use a little bit of hairspray. Just kind of lock everything in. I'm honestly not going to use anything like that today because this is what I do. So that is it. I like feel like I need to tell you guys more, but there really is nothing special to it. Please let me know down below if you guys have short hair and you struggle with curling it. I think this is a secret weapon, and then I think just some of those hidden tricks along the way that I told you guys about are really going to help you guys perfect the short hair curling style. I'm obsessed. I think it looks really, really cute. Um, if I seem like I'm in a rush, it's because I am. I have to be somewhere in like I have to leave my house in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to close out this video here. I'm actually first going to do my lips real quick. I'm going to use MAC Strip Down Lip Liner and then I'll be back to close out the video. <laughs> All right, now my lips are on. I'm feeling a lot more myself. I can't believe I went that whole video without having my lips on. But this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified every time I upload. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!